I had a client uh, say to me that the reason she struggled with charging what her her rates, what her product or service, well, it was a service that she had, she struggled with charging what it was actually worth because each person that came to her, she sort of thought more about what they could afford. So she made an assumption more about what they could afford. And so her prices changed each person she spoke to because of the way she thought, because of the assumptions she was making. And I said to her, whilst you may think that you're helping, you're actually not helping. You're not serving your client, that you're not helping them in any way. You might think you are, but you're not. You're making an assumption first. You don't know whether they can help. And actually, you're not helping them because they can't do that with everyone. They cannot walk into, your client cannot walk into a supermarket and have a discussion with the, the customer service agent and say, well, actually, I think I need to pay this. If the price ticket is there, that's what it is. They're not going to have a discussion about what they think they should pay. And I said, you're, you're not helping yourself. You're not serving yourself. Because you thinking that you're helping others is doing a disservice to yourself. Because at the end of the day, with your bills, all the outgoings that you've got, your goals, your financial goals, you're not going to hit them if you are changing your, your product according to everybody that you meet. Value your value. You know what you bring to the table. And I say that to all my clients and I say that to, you, to everyone that's watching this video. Value your value. You know what you bring, the value that you bring. You know what your product or service is worth. And each time that you lower your cost or try to accommodate, you're actually devaluing it. And it doesn't make you look very professional either. If two people start talking and say, well, I paid this, I paid this. It's not helping you in the long run. Value your value. And actually that bit presents another problem is you're probably not in front of your ideal client. And so that's what I start helping. With. I help the person in, in question who I'm talking about before. And that's what I do with my clients is help you get in front of your ideal client. In fact, have your ideal client come to you because your ideal client is not going to debate about your prices because they need what you have. They have the problem that you solve. And that's what you need to do more work with. But never devalue your value.